Hello my friends, John here. Welcome back to my subscribers. And if you're new, please subscribe. I would love to see you again. Okay, so, well, I'm driving to the area and what song do I hear? Torrance Wells, taking back what the enemy stole. So let's do this. <clears throat> now, if you've been with me for a while, you've heard me mention this more than once, but I just feel like I wanna, uh, the Lord would have us spend a little more time. I, and I wanna share something specific. Um, it's the Isaiah scripture. <clears throat> I think it's 43, 18, 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Living Bible. So the first part, part of this is where some people are, are, are getting stuck. You know, I think it's time that we really, we take this as an instruction. So God's saying, and someone like truly hear this, we're going to talk about this. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. And we can stop there. And it can be tough. I can even think of someone I know that once in a while will like to talk about how bad, you know, the, the last, you know, few years have been. And, and, you know, what we, I think we all can tell our, <laughs> our story of suffering, but, but let, let us hang in there and, and let it be a testimony with a glorious ending instead. But while I was driving to the area, you know, where, where I'm working, so this is about a half an hour ago, it, it, it was like, I, I kind of had an image in my mind of, um, don't mind a uh, plane going by here. Um, maybe that's the rescue plane right there. Hmm? But it, it was like, I had, I'm not gonna say like a full vision, but like an image, you know, in my mind as I was going over this, a, a picture like a threshold, like let's say like the front door of your house and with one foot in, and one foot out. But I, I'm going to even say it like this. Let, let's just exaggerate that a tad. It, it would be like God saying, to, to get your blessing, you know, I, I want you to go out the front door and get it. But how are you going to do that if your other foot is, is out the back door? It, it'd be like if somebody were just drawing almost like an illustration, someone with, with super long legs and, you know, the, the feet spread apart. One, one foot's out the back door, the other's out, out of the front. You, you got it, you know, the back door's symbolic of the past. You got to get out of the past let it go <coughs> excuse me um it's it's gone and yeah just some people I, I think the other thing that came to me was like have a strategy if need be if something comes to your mind or you catch yourself thinking of, of past tense things replace it with the scripture that god put before you replace it with an affirmation of, of of what he said or what what you're claiming you know if it's health if it's if it's financial deliverance you know whatever it is um you know there's there's probably a scripture that, that, that would cover just about about anything and and that way you you've got a strategy to kind of to kind of battle it you know because sometimes it's just the enemy that puts the thoughts of past tense things in in your mind and uh you know you you, you can't get stuck in the past and embrace and move into the future at the same time so that is pretty much about it um so yeah other than that you know i, I already prayed i'm just going to speak this let this be the week that something changes that we see god father i do pray in jesus name for, for some of your people where, where you would just say okay we can do this i can do this with the script for your life let this be the week that we see breakthroughs things happen whether it's a kingdom connection meeting someone health that greatly improves coming across to unexpected money to get out of bondage, or whatever it is, let this be the week, Father. Make moves, make moves on our behalf, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, that's it. So I hope this helps you. And remember, do not remember the former things. Okay, God bless you. Bye-bye.